In this episode, I will show you how to work with plot plates. Watch the whole video to learn the tricks I used on this project. So let's start. I combine a few runners and modify an old New Zealand stand base. First, I need to trim off the letters from each sprue. Mark the edges with a scriber so that the hand saw won't slip. Then, I clean up the edges with a diamond file. You want to hold the file parallel to the surface you're working on. If you want more control, you can use tweezer to hold the setting sponge. Next, I want to extend these letters with the same screw using the same steps. After I make sure they align correctly, I can cement the letters in place with Tamiya cement. First, I use regular cement so both plastic will have stronger bond. Since all the surface is flat, I can just press it down on the cutting mat without having to worry about lining. Next, I use thin cement to quickly set everything in place. To fill the gaps, I use plow plate scraps and thin cement. Thin cement will quickly melt the plow plate in place. Wait for a few seconds, then press down the plow plate. I am using old diamond file for this. You're probably going to need a different tool since the plastic might melt into the tool you are using. Next, I clean the excess using the same steps. Same process on the bottom side. First, I trim the excess with handsaw, clean it up, then replace the missing section with one male plot plate. Then, I add a few pen lines. Start with a scriber, then chisel and clean up after that. You can use whatever tool to clean up the panel line. After the cement has cured, I trim off the excess with an old nipper. Don't use your new nipper for this. Clean up the edges with diamond file. This one is at an angle, so you will need strong and steady hands. I use hobby knife to quickly scrape off the excess. This knife is quite dull, so I don't need to worry about trimming off more than I need. Repeat the same process with the rest of the edges. Next, I will add half a mil plow plate on both sides. Okay. 
use whatever shape you want. In general, pointy edges would look good, so you can just trim it off. Copy the plot plate, simply use double tape. Retrace all the edges and trim off the excess. Before you separate the plot plates, make sure they are the same size on all the edges. Cement the plot plates in place with regular cement. Then use a few dabs of thin cement on every edges to fill the gaps in between them. I covered the missing gaps with plot plates. Next, I need something for the letters to sit on. of hooks on the middle to hold the screw in place. the line properly. Add a few more plot plates to fill the gaps in the middle.
added claw plates will add stability and strength. With the same method, I clean up the edges. Use Stabilo as a guide when cleaning up at an angle. Don't worry about the plastic oozing out, we can clean that later. Directly after I apply the cement, I use this old file to align the plot plates properly.
add a few more depths of thin cement to fill the gaps if you need to. Here is a closer look on how to clean up at an angle. This is how to clean up the oozing plastic. I personally use this fat knife.
make sure you don't sand the edges of the plat plate above the surface you're working on. You can see here the surface is not flat. And there are some gaps that wasn't visible before priming. I use the soft putty to cover all the gaps. With a toothpick, use a small amount of putty and dab it into the gaps. Let this cure overnight. then send off the excess. I use a finishing diamond file for this. This has a high grid, so the finish will be smooth. Use a sanding stick if you want to clean further. Clean up all the excess body. After the second prime, I can still see small gaps, so I redo the same steps. This is why you need to think about your design first. I designed the surface to have small enough gap so I can clean it up using the tools I have. If you notice, I also add pen lines on all the edges of the plot plates. This is actually a technique for making custom pen lines. With a plot plate template, you can just flip the template and get a symmetrical panel line. Because I didn't mix the paint properly, the surface is not smooth. So using a high grit sanding sponge, I lightly sand the surface. For color separation, I simply add black to the main color. Masking is pretty straightforward. 
I prefer to cut my masking tape into smaller pieces first. As you can see, the plot plates adds a shadow on the edges, so it looks like a pen line. Spray a flat coat to finish this up. I change the color of the other sprue to a darker tone so it is more visible. Hopefully, you learned something from this episode and see you on the next one.